What's up, my Nora Elementary third grade? Happy Friday from the Panther Cub Den. It is the best elementary PE teacher in the state of Indiana and the world. Mr. Dalton or Mr. D. Go Ball State, BSU today. We are practicing and working on being courageous, showing courage third grade. Our IB attitude is switched. It is creativity. We worked on that last week and talked about it. So again, I want you to be focusing on that at home, being creative, using our imagination. Vocabulary, again, third grade is follow through. When we follow through. Good job, Michaela. That means continuing our movement after we've thrown, rolled, tossed, or Today, we're going to be working on kicking in some of our foot skills. We're not using our hands, okay? So, when we follow through, we follow through on throwing. We follow through on rolling. We follow through on tossing. And we follow through on kicking. So, watch, boys and girls. Actually, I'm sorry. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to pause the video, and for your warm-up today, I simply want you to click on the extra resources, activities, and games link, and complete all of our locomotor movements for 10 seconds each. That is run, walk, jump, hop, skip, gallop, and the slide. Okay? So pause the video and come back. After you complete our stretches for 10 seconds each. Good. Mr. Dalton's going to do some dynamic stretches with you. Okay. So first, we're going to start right here. We're going to swing our arms back and forth just like this. Nice and relaxed. I don't have them tied up here. I'm just going back and forth. Frontwards and backwards now. Good job. Now we're going to go all the way around backwards. Big circles. Oop. And go the other way. Good job. Now, let's take our legs. Let's swing more. This takes balance. Yep, takes balance. Swing our other one. Good. Remember, dynamic stretches are using body movements to stretch and activate and warm up our muscles. Good. Side raises. Other leg. Good job. Woo! All right. Now, I think we're getting ready to go. Third grade, I have a softball, like a multi purpose ball, I'm going to use first, and I'm going to use a soccer ball. If you have any kind of ball at home, it'll work. You can use a basketball, a kickball, it doesn't matter, okay? First, I want us to just practice our kicking. So you can use a ball or no ball, it's okay. I want you to follow our four cues. We're gonna plant our opposite foot a little bit and beside the ball. So plant foot is number one. Number two is our weight should go forward when our leg goes back. So first one is plant foot. Second is weight forward, leg back. Third is contact. So that's when we bring our foot forward and kick the ball. And four is follow through. So, I'm going to show you without a ball. We're going to plant feet forward, contact, follow through. Or I'm going to show you with the ball. Plant foot, follow through. I want you now to kick your ball correctly, following the four cues ten times. Watch Mr. Dalton one more time. Follow through. I'm really making sure I'm bringing my leg and chasing the ball, okay? I want you to do that 10 times third grade. Now third grade. Soccer ball. Remember, if I say trapping, you'll trap the ball. That's when we put one foot on top and trap it. Are we standing on the ball? No, because that'll go like that and we'll get hurt. We're simply trapping it. If our ball rolls away from us, do we want to do this third grade? No, good job. Grab it with our foot and pull it back. First, you're just going to touch your ball opp opposite feet. Just taking turns, just tapping it. I'm not standing on it, am I? Good job. 
do this for a little bit, kindergarten or third grade, I'm sorry. Now, we're going to tap it with both feet and try not to move. Is Mr. Dalton moving a lot? No. If the ball does roll away, grab it with my foot. Good job. Pull it back. We're just going to tap, 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 tap. Good. Now third grade, when you think you have that down and you can kind of stand in place, I want you to try to control your ball and move around your outside or room or living room or apartment or house by tapping the ball with one foot and the other, like this. Mr. Dalton, staying under control, I'm not chasing my ball. I'm dribbling, but not with my hands, with my feet. Good. Once you practice this independently and master it, you can go a little bit faster. By tapping, 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 if the ball gets away, oh, I can stop with my foot and bring it back. I want you to focus third grade on moving around and really practice on dribbling and handling your ball with your feet. Remember, after you have done that, you can practice kicking your soccer ball. We'll talk about what part of our feet and we'll do more kicking when we come back. But you can practice your soccer ball. It's a little bit bigger. Remember, following our four cues, playing our feet, Leg back, weight forward, contact, follow through. Woo! All right, third grade, happy Friday. I hope you have fun practicing your kicking and your foot skills. Make sure you're following through, and I hope to see some of you today at 2.30 to say hi. I love you. Bye.